first thing that we have to say is that too often when you and I look at certain deeds, we do not understand or actions or rulings. We do not understand why and in which way it should be performed. And what happens also is that we are afraid of the reaction of the people. The mind goes into this phase of calculating what others will perceive. And this is often the problem when it comes to public speaking, for instance. People don't like to speak in front of others because they're afraid how they'll be perceived. When it comes to the shaking of the hands, you and I may have 101 assumptions about what the others think, what the others may judge, what conclusions they'll come about with. I recall that there was an important story that highlights how you and I may be looking at this subject or this issue in the wrong way. Let me illustrate this by recalling the story that there was a man by the name of Sheikh Abu Khair living in Iran. One day, the king's son, his name is Hassan, decided to take the path of spirituality to study mysticism. And this Sheikh Abu Khair was a scholar of mysticism, of spirituality. He came to him. He said to him, Maulana, Sheikhna, I wish to study and you, I want you to be my teacher. I want you to teach me how to get close to Allah and purify my heart. Can you do that? The Sheikh looks at him and says, I can do that, but it will cost you a lot. This man who was the son of the king said, don't worry, Maulana, I can give you whatever you want. The Sheikh said, no, you've misunderstood what I meant. It's not money that I'm looking for. He said, what is it? He said, I'm going to ask you to do a number of things. Can you do them? He said, yes, of course, I want to be your student. Sheikh said to him, I want you to go to the marketplace and buy some meat for me. This Hassan, who had never left the palace, who always has servants, says, Sheikh, now, please, can I get one of my servants to do it? He says, no, you have to listen. If you want me to teach you, you have to listen to me. He said, okay, what do I have to do again? He said, go to the end of the marketplace in the city and buy some meat in front of others. This Hassan walks out, the prince goes to the market, his head is down. He's thinking people are looking at him and saying, what is this guy doing? He's the prince. Why is he walking in the street in such a way? There's no one with him. Why is he in the market? It doesn't befit him. He's red. He's embarrassed. His head is down. Quickly, he gets to the market store where meat is being sold. He says to him, quickly, give me some meat, quickly. The meat is given to him. He rushes back towards where the sheikh is staying. He presents the uh, meat. The sheikh says to him, now what I want you to do is go back to the other side of the town, go to the river and wash this meat. This man said, Sheikh, now, now you're really crossing the line. What do you mean I have to wash this meat? Can I get somebody? He says, no. This man now reluctantly, Hassan, goes across the other side of the city, once again wary of people's eyes upon him, goes to the river, sits down, thinking in his head, people are saying, how is it that I'm washing the meat in front of others? He washes the meat with water in the river, he stands up, brings it back. Now the sheikh looks at him and says, now I want you to do is what? I want you to cook this meat for us. Prepare some stew for us. Hassan says, now I can't do this. Khalas, this is now you've crossed the line. I have never cooked in my life. Sheikh says to him, do you want me to be your teacher or not? He says, okay, I'll go and do it. He goes outside, he gets a pan and he starts cooking the, the meat, preparing the stew in whichever way he can. When he presents the stew to the scholar and his students, the scholar looks at the student and says, today I want us all to eat the, the stew of Hassan's pride. They said, what? He said, I wanted to teach this particular individual to crush his ego, to crush the idea that others are what? Looking at him and what he's doing is inappropriate. That today I, he has passed the exam, meaning what? He looked at him and says, now go back to the market and ask people, did you see me earlier? What did you think when you saw me? He went back to the marketplace. Throughout the way, he looked at the people. He said to them, excuse me, did you see me earlier when I came head down to buy some meat? They said, no, we didn't pay attention to you. You were here? Really? We didn't really see you. He said, didn't you see me? Then what about when I went to wash the meat? They said, no, we weren't paying attention at all. The Sheikh was trying to inculcate the message in the heart of this particular individual. And it's a lesson for you and I. 
too often we calculate and we have assumptions about other people's opinions that stop us from displaying our beliefs and our practices. We think people think, oh, it's rude. It's inappropriate. It should not happen. Yet, indeed, with the right way, we can get confidence.